Hi, this is Chef Nick from Tony's Markets, and we're working on those lettuces out of your garden today. I'm gonna to start with a shrimp here. Shrimp is everyone's favorite, right? I'm using white shrimp from Mexico. These are actually fishermen's daughter shrimp. It's a very sustainable shrimp out of uh, Mexico where they have three times less bycatch. What I'm doing here, this little technique, is called a kind of a quick peel technique. What I do is I take these kitchen scissors and cut it right along the back. This is opening the shrimp up and it's exposing that vein, okay? So this is gonna make it easy because I'm gonna cut these all and then I'm gonna come back and drop them in the boiling water and I'm not gonna have to worry about cleaning the vein out because it's gonna clean out when it boils. So we'll just cut all these shrimp here and into the water they'll go. You got them all peeled into the boiling water. Now you could use some shrimp boil in here or you could put in a little bit of salt or season it up any way you like. You get all the shrimp into the pot here. I like to use a lot of water, season the water up if you can, and bring it back to a boil. Once they boil, it's probably gonna take two, three minutes to actually cook them. Shrimp cook incredibly fast. Okay, these have been boiling about three minutes. Three minutes should do it. This is actually a really large, a jumbo shrimp actually. What we're looking for is the shrimp to simply turn pink in color and get nice and firmed up. It doesn't take long. These are nice and firm. These babies are ready. It opened up, and as since we split this open, when it boiled, the vein came out, I didn't even have to pull it out. Great te technique here. We're gonna put this and we're gonna cool this off and go to the next step. Okay, so we've got all these cooked and peeled. The veins pretty much clean out. Very, very easy to work with this. I'm gonna split all these. Because I've used a jumbo shrimp, I'm gonna split them so they're a little bit more of a bite size here. Now you wanna cook them before you split them because if you don't, they're gonna twist into little crazy shapes. Well, if you like crazy shapes, go ahead and split them first. So I've got them all split here. I'm gonna put most of them into a bowl. I'm gonna add remoulade. Now this is a fully prepared remoulade from Tony's. It's really, really fast and easy. We just toss it in here and stir it. But at digincolorado.com, you can actually get a recipe for a proper remoulade that you make yourself. Okay, toss them all in the remoulade. You can use this now or we can go ahead and put it in the fridge until it's time to serve. We're ready for assembly here. Now, you can use a variety of things. You could use leaf lettuces and shred them nice and thin, or an iceberg lettuce, or any kind of lettuce you like. I like to do this shred and use a variety of different things. A darker green lettuce, a lighter green lettuce. Let's throw some of this, this one down, and a little bit of this darker lettuce down. A little bit of shredded cabbage, and then carrots. Take the carrots, take your carrots and just Scratch it like this with one of these little peelers, one of these little zesters. Very handy little tool. Now all this stuff can come out of your garden. You could mix up different lettuces. You could use spinach. You could use the mixed green lettuce like this. You could just use chopped zucchinis or cucumbers or whatever you like. Anything you want to grow that during the summer would work fine because this remoulade and shrimp pairs with everything. Shrimp goes good with anything. Are you kidding me? So we're gonna go ahead and garnish a little bit here. I got some tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes, or you could just chop up some tomatoes. And let's see here, I got some, let's see, I'm gonna save that bacon and olive. I'm gonna save those for the end. Get the tomatoes around here. So we've got our shrimp. Had a chance to sit in there and kind of soak up some of that flavor. I'm gonna pile it on top, any lettuce you like. This would also be nice over a lettuce wedge. If you grew iceberg and you wanted to cut wedges, Put it on a wedge, just pile this over the top. If you're a real lover of the remoulade, we put a little bit more sauce on there. As much as you like, just the way you like it. Okay, we're gonna finish this off. I'm gonna get crazy here. A Little bit of olive, but bacon. Oh my gosh, what isn't better with bacon? Pile it on here. Okay, and avocado. Where's that spoon? Quick little pile of avocado on each one. There we go. All right, a really delicious and easy salad using fresh shrimp and any lettuce or any vegetable out of your garden. You can get all these recipes at digincolorado.com. Let's dig in.